Hola mis amor. So yes, I broke my nail, but don't focus on that. I'm about to go into the grocery store and take a look at what we have. My dad sent me to get some Vitalo, which is like some soda, and um, see if we can get some fish. So let's go do that. So this is where I grocery shop. It's called Gigi Mart Hyper. And let's go. Oh my God, guys. Whenever I come here, I always grab bounties. Are we gonna stay focused? Let me see what we actually came for today. Bonjour, mama. Um, vous avez toujours uh, les, la promotion là si tu achètes en Vitalo tu, tu, tu prends un Oui, oui. Oui, il y en a. Il y en a mm. uh, Est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un qui peut m'aider à uh, soulever Je me les... uh, la caisse. Combien de paquets uh, Juste un. Un paquet. Maman, toi. Et puis. Et puis vous vendez aussi uh, du poisson, tu vois, les Thompson là Oui, il y en a. C'est par où Au rayon poissonnerie, c'est là-bas. Ah, Venez par là Ok. Merci, j'apprécie. Tu as encore le chariot, non Ah, c'est mieux, hein euh... Ok, merci. Okay, I have secured the bag, but now I'm gonna see if we have fish. Let's see what they have and how much it costs. Let's see. Bonjour. Vous vendez des Thompson? Bonjour, papa. Vous vendez des Thompson? Comment? Vous n'en avez pas? D'habitude, vous en avez? C'est à peu près à combien 10 000. Ah, 10 000. Pour combien Pour les kilos. Ok, 10 000. Ok, mais maintenant, vous n'en avez pas. Ok, merci. J'apprécie. Generally, like I said, I usually come and get the bounties. I am so bad because I am obsessed with these. So I usually grab a couple. Okay, so those are the goods we got for today. Hola mis amor, getting a car vlog started really quickly and I wanted to say hi, hello, my name is Binja and welcome to my YouTube channel. I um, vlog about all things lifestyle, tech, travel. I'm so glad that you stopped by. I know I don't generally do like a formal welcome but I figured oh my god, you know, we're getting back into the swing of vlogging, let's try and switch things up. So that was my formal intro. I wanted to let you guys know that today is not gonna be a super busy day but I am starting my day with meetings. I have a meeting with, oh gosh, I should probably take these off. I have a meeting with a potential client client they hopefully are looking to do a lot more um, content creation so hopefully we're able to get to a happy medium and maybe get a gig going so yeah that's what I'm about today I have to pick up a check from a client as well 
and then generally I think it is more an admin day than anything um, except this one meeting so I am early right now by nine minutes um, I generally like to not be late <laughs> I know that is like a very low bar but living in Kinshasa I am of the minority so let me get to my meeting on time and I will see you guys when I'm out that I'm at right now like you guys when we walked on the street it literally was like on this road this is so cool even the level of detail that's awesome this is what it's supposed to eventually be it's like mixed use look at how gorgeous wow I generally have never seen anything like this in Kinshasa the creative shout out so these are like the apartments with balconies all the detail work is really nice it's even inside literally you can look it inside hold on let that focus there we go oh come on yeah there we go wow and it goes back to being this huge community that's crazy and then we have even the garages mapped out this is cool this is nice so there's more like street parking and you can see like the shops it's gonna be like mixed use space and this is the other side it's crazy so they'll have like a park more apartments now this is cool wow oh, that's the entryway with like guards inside hold on let me see if i can focus that for y'all look at that it's the details for me wow Tennis courts? I can't. This is probably genuinely some of the best stuff I've ever seen done. Wow. So I'm just sitting here at reception and it's pretty. It's like a really nice decor. Alright, let's get this meeting going. Y'all, this can actually be lit up. So one of the ladies who works here just lit everything up. And oh my God, there are pools at every level. You've got to be kidding me right now. Are y'all seeing this? Are y'all actually seeing this? Are y'all seeing this? I can't even begin to say much more than that. So I... Look inside the house. Guys, it's the details for me. They even have folks like on the pool. I can't. Oh, I love it so much. This looks like a really cool setup. I love that. A play spot, a play. Oh, my God, I don't call the playground. Jesus. And then this is the bottom area, like where I walked in. And this is the mall area, as you guys can see. Dope. Wow. Alright, let's go see the other side now that we have the lights on. Oh, look at that.
Gin, one of the best things I have ever seen. Done by Fine Art Skill Model. Models, yeah. So they're based definitely not here, it looks like. In Hyderabad, is that what that says? No. Plus 91 is definitely not here. I'm thinking India. I can double check. But wow, they did a great job here. Wow. Look at how they have like seating. Looks like a bedroom. There's even like a little outdoor seating here. I cannot believe the detail. I think that's my biggest thing that I love out of this plan is that finally there's like a place with lots and lots of green space. Hopefully it's executed in the right way because this would be actually pretty stunning. And that's the plan guys. Oh my god. I can't get over how many pools there are. Like what is happening? This is what the reception area looks like. I'm a big fan of the lights. And that's the entry. And um, that's where I just showed you guys the model. Oh my god, guys. Hold on. I gotta breathe. Let me let me uh, turn let me turn the windows down. Oh my god, that was a really, really good meeting, guys. So, again, those are good meetings. I just need these to like convert into actual opportunities. But basically, um, being able to meet clients in different locations. Um, I, I, my, my office is generally like a restaurant <laughs> to be completely honest with you guys. I don't have like an actual permanent location, and it's it feels like it's a very non-traditional thing to happen in Kinshasa because people always ask me like so where's your office and I'm like my office is wherever it is I can meet you I need internet and I have my iPad I have an office but it's a concept where I find like more and more people are slowly getting accustomed to but not necessarily one that a lot of people are used to especially here in the city so for me I was actually talking to uh, my business partner Rachel and we were like yeah maybe we should get an office and we've been looking for an office just to like make it easier for people to I feel like it almost lends credibility in some areas but anyway I like going to my clients location so I can meet at a restaurant like we just did and chat and communicate and honestly I feel like when you step outside of like those four walls of like a stuffy office I always find that like people are more relaxed more um, open receptive to ideas and I generally had a good meeting you know I have a good feeling about this it's always nice when you meet a client who gets it a client who is open to trying um, because part of the concepts that I pitch in terms of strategy are not stuff that has been done in Kinshasa and so for me I am so freaking excited whenever I meet up with clients potential clients who are like you know what go to town let's see worst that could happen is we're right where we started and if we're able to move the needle even one degree we're good so i really like clients that are like that i appreciate clients that are like open to trying and open to doing new things so that was a really really good meeting guys also full transparency i can't really see you guys because I don't have glasses on my um, sunglasses are prescription so when I took them off you guys became completely blurry so let me put them back on so I can actually see what's happening I mean I still look good I'm still killing it you know you boys do it <laughs> no, I'm kidding I'm really not because I be slaying but you get what you get the vibes <laughs> ah, 
y'all so i'm gonna go uh pick up a check and then head home and do a bunch of admin related stuff so lego shoddy Ooh, if i can find my key that would really be helpful there she is okay um so let's go actually let me message my client that i'm on the way and then head out my door is locked yeah okay so quick heads up i am coming to get my check okay let me see where are you okay so message them done um oh okay i got a video sent over child do not play with me okay i'm out here i was this close to losing it <laughs> i'm trying to review a couple of um video content um for my clients Actually, you know what? let me kill the gas here so that we can save fuel um and y'all i broke my nails this was so short-lived <laughs> i broke like three of my nails in a span of like what a week Ugh. extremely disappointing but i'm gonna get them redone anyway we're about three weeks um in with this set so boohoo boohoo but mm, time to get a new set done so please while you're looking at my nails don't judge me don't come for me i didn't ask i didn't ask for this okay i didn't ask for this all right let's see what they sent Oh, mais c'est pas possible. Oh. Guys, this is the toughest part about running a business is that like you share a vision, you share all the documents that are needed and people still don't execute. It's extremely frustrating. Bonjour Jérémy. Bon, mais qu'est-ce qui se passe? Je t'avais envoyé les horaires. Je t'avais dit d'ajouter les horaires, non? Ah, papa, Jérémy. Mais là, tu, tu ne facilites pas ma tâche, là. Déjà, on est en retard. Ok, merci. It's, it's stuff like this where I'm like, I just want to shake the person because I literally gave him all the text, all the content. Literally, I'm just like, put this together. This is the font. This is the message. I need you to literally just do your job. <sighs> Y'all keep me lifted, okay? Keep me lifted up to Jesus because they are trying me. All right, so let's go to get my check and <sighs> and then head home on my way I am listening to the read y'all they are so freaking funny this is one of my favorite all-time podcasts and um, how I built this I also love how I built this I listen to the read because they remind me that like it's okay to have like cool friends and like funky people with like different thoughts than you different opinions than you and their commentary on pop culture is a one i'm i i always find myself not having necessarily the same opinions on things but i appreciate the fact that they differ in opinion to me um and then i also listen to uh how i built this love how i built this for all y'all entrepreneurs out there i highly highly recommend it part of why i launched my podcast and i think we probably need to talk about my new podcast um is pretty much based on a hybrid of like the read meets how i built this and when you listen to my podcast you'll be like oh okay okay i, I see where she was going with this um but basically yeah that's 
that's that's the vibes um yeah time to go time to go i'm 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 blabbering and i have a meeting in an hour so that i forgot about so let's go for the 15th time on this vlog please do not abandon me i am coming I, i'm getting back on the vlogging horse okay okay let's go let's really go okay I'm gonna talk to you from the car again like super super quick because I literally have to go I have a meeting in 10 minutes and we are back at the fancy gallery y'all y'all remember the gallery that I just showed y'all you definitely have seen that in a few scenes before this one but like day of today I came with my car and I parked um, uh, in the underground garage y'all y'all it is beautiful like a beautiful underground garage okay so that's the intro and i'm going to my meeting i will catch you all in a few Papa, no, c'est bon, hein? merci. Et ah, ça, c'est okay. trop là. <laughs> merci. merci, merci. Non, 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 je vais, je vais enlever un petit peu là parce que là, c'est trop. Um, oh my god, guys, Ooh, that was quite, quite um, the lunch. I actually had lunch with a friend and 
like a business associate of mine and it was so fun I tried I've never been to Ectarian before um, and it was nice it was like really good Indian food um, not like the kind like your Indian grandmother makes but close enough to be like if you ever had a hankering for like Indian food in Kinshasa you would absolutely go for this um, so yeah this is a new mall that's opened up I think maybe I'll do like a nice full walkthrough because I feel like I keep coming here and it's like bits and pieces of um, details that I'm showing you but in general this is exquisite it's like African luxury meets like European scandinavian -y, like clean lines type thing yeah yeah this is this is a game changer for the city for sure and they have a bunch of restaurants like i said i brought you guys with me to Egtarian. um it's indian cuisine and i generally i'm a huge fan i asked for like something super super spicy and they said it was spicy but i was like this is like American spicy. This is not Indian spicy. All my Indians know what I'm talking about. But it's a good start. Like I said, it's a good start. And there's so many other stores opening up here. Guys, yeah, it's, it's pretty impressive. So this is about to become a very interesting prospect. But we'll see, we'll see. It was nice. So I had a shoot this morning. I then came here for a meeting and then I had another meeting after that. So three meetings of the day, all of them successfully done. Um, I was on time for them. <laughs> for as long as I'm on time, I feel fine. Um, I always like surprise my clients when I'm there on time and then I like fuss over myself when I'm late because I really, really hate being late. But basically, today was a good day in terms of like how to get from point A to point B. I did that, did everything on time. I was a little disappointed in myself yesterday because I actually missed one of the meetings I had today um, because of life, was lifing. And then I only got here like half an hour with, with a delay of like about half an hour. So to be able to do the meeting today and like for it to go well, I'm like, ooh. Good God in heaven, this is much, much needed victory. Um, but yeah, so now I'm gonna head home and I'm thinking about all the things that I have to do in my head. You know, like when you're trying to like inventory all your to do's. Um, I actually also have a phone call in 15 minutes. Um, we're launching a special project for Diaspat um, that is the diaspora community that I co-founded here in Kinshasa and a lot of changes are coming and it's like finally you know sometimes when you're like too broke to do anything and then finally you have like money coming in and you can execute a lot of the things that have kind of just been like on the back burner that's where I am right now I'm not like swimming in money please don't come ask me I don't have money for you but i'm at the position where like we can actually get some of like these dream projects done and i'm really excited about that because that means that not only are we able to help like how many people are on our team about five or six people who work on the production side of the house and um they're able to like at least guaranteed like a monthly income so it's really really been a huge goal of ours to actually get to this point so being able to do so and then being able to launch um our secret project over on the diaspat side <sighs> y'all i just know me i'm allergic to poverty not having money hey jesus christ <laughs> it's not for me poverty does not look good on me, me i can tell you right now i verified it's not for me <laughs> But basically, I'm going to get home as, and on my drive, I'm going to have to hop on a call here to kind of get this kick started. But I'm really, really grateful that I am where I am right now because Kinshasa definitely, definitely broke me. It definitely did. I'm not too proud to say it. You know, it definitely did uh, a lot of humbling, a lot of humbling. Um, but to be at the point where we can at least say... We have X going, I think it's peace of mind that I've needed for a long time. So we'll chalk this day up as a good day. Okay guys, <laughs> let me hop on this call.